Yes, you're opening a birthday present. We forgot. We forgot to bring Jared's gift because it arrived today too. Okay, well, do you want to go back and get it and come here and then I'll open it? Yeah, let me go get it. Okay. Well, I'll wait. Wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We can. We can wait. Getting out anyway. So what, two years or something? Oh shit, hey. This is my brother. Uh, yes. Um, and these are my other brothers. That's what so, so you've been talking to about it. Yeah, at least now. Yeah. <laughs> Now a hero's welcome. A Pinellas Park police officer who was also a Navy service member returned from his deployment in the Middle East tonight. Got a warm greeting from his family and fellow officers. Josh Cassio is here now. Quite a remarkable guy we hear. Yeah, you talk about a hometown hero. You name it. Officer Christopher Gibbs does it. Patrol officer, check. SWAT team, check. 20 plus year naval career, triple check. This guy has made a career out of helping others. Whether he's here or far, far away over there, Pinellas Park Police Officer Christopher Gibbs is dedicated to civil service. I just have this insatiable need to want to help people and serve my community. He returned home Wednesday after doing a year in the Middle East, helping to provide defense for U.S. ships at sea. Gibbs is a senior chief master at arms in the U.S. Navy, serving for two decades. This was his fifth deployment. I do miss work, but uh, I miss the time I spend with my wife. I miss hanging out with friends and family and uh, relaxing. Very excited to have a home, to be back, get back to our normal routine and normal jobs and normal lives. Normal for Officer Gibbs means continuing to do what he does best. That's help and serve others. He's been a patrol officer with Pinellas Park for four years. He has a role on the sometimes dangerous SWAT team as well. My military experience, uh, 20 years in, uh, it's, it carries over in the police department when I deal with people every day. We're very proud of Officer Gibbs. He's uh, served this country well, he's served our community well, and we're just thrilled we're getting him back. Gibbs says he's looking forward to dinner at home with his family most and plans to be back on patrol as soon as possible. It is not always easy, uh, but he does it very well, and we do it very well uh, as a married couple, and uh, I'm very, very proud of him and all of his accomplishments. Family, community, and country. It's just a at the office for this hometown hero. And the chief says he has several officers who are in the reserves. He says he doesn't worry too much when they're deployed because they're all well-trained and they all have very good heads on their shoulders. He has the utmost confidence in all of them. Back to you, I Mark. bet he does. That is a leader right there yeah. and a hero. Josh, thanks very much. Pinellas Park Police welcomed home a military hero last night. Officers lined up along the walls of Tampa International Airport as Officer Christopher Gibbs returned from his year-long deployment in the Middle East. Officer Gibbs is the senior chief master at arms in the United States Navy, and he served for 21 years. He's been with the Pinellas Park Police Department since 2012. Welcome home. Okay. Cinder. Hey, Cinder. <laughs> Oh, Cinder.
Why you like? <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's like, yes, pet me. Get the belly. Getting chubby though. Don't say that to her. She's just filled out. Center, show daddy the hole that you dug. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't do that. <laughs> Such a good girl. <laughs> Cinder. Just a little vaguely. Why'd she tell you? Someone's girlfriend had posted on Facebook the day that y'all are coming home, and then so y'all had to move the flights. Yeah, I told you that I don't mess around with that kind of stuff. No matter how much you tell people, they don't they listen. Where's mom? Right there. I'm right here. Party. A beach party? Hang on just a second. I'll be right back, okay? okay. Hang on. Easy look! Good morning, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the promotion ceremony of Captain Michael Ray Morris. A ceremony reaching far beyond the promotion of now Major Michael Morris. He chose to have his ceremony in his hometown of 96. In Put their life on the line. Inside the First Baptist Church. Major Morris says they shaped him into not only the man he is today, 
but the leader he is becoming. A lot of men sitting in the audience today uh, taught me um, what it meant to be a true leader, um, not just a leader with institutional knowledge, a leader that knows how to lead folks, and uh, that's what I attribute it back to my parents and, and the leaders that served uh, in front of me. One of those leaders is this beautiful woman, Major Morris's nanny. Miss Shirley Leopard. Well, she meant a lot in my life to me. This ceremony is typically held in Columbia, but Major Morris says after learning it was up to him to decide the details, he soon realized this day wouldn't be for him. He's coming to visit Nanny uh, the next day, driving through Newberry, and I said, you know what? This will be Nanny's day. And little did Miss Leopard know she would have the honor to pin her grandson. My grandmother is um, terminally ill with cancer, and uh, it's an honor to have her do it. I don't know much how much longer she's going to be around. That might be uncertain, but one thing is not. This soldier has made his nanny the proudest woman in the state of South Carolina today. I'll tell you that I love you, and I'm thankful for you to... I'm thankful for you to be able to pin my rank on me. As Nanny wiped those tears of joy, she couldn't let us go without letting us know this. You know, when he was growing up, he was a little stinker. And I had to whip him several times. But I am proud of him today. I got you. <laughs> Happy birthday. So go change your clothes, you get to come home. Right now? Yes, right now. Hi, Dad. How you doing? I know good. You. I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> I was in gym, so don't worry about it. Yeah, we went and got Chris in too. <laughs> wow. You happy? Uh-huh. Yep. Home for 15 days. Did I get you? Yeah. <laughs> You might want to look in the closet, though. <laughs>